What's up, everybody? Got my damn ID again. Yeah. I'm like running without my ID. I'm supposed to take your ID with you wherever you go. That's my damn ID again. Yeah. That's about 100 yards. All I need is good energy. I made it back. I made it back. Ooh, my legs are killing me.
made it back. And that's a that's a hard that's a that's a difficult weight class because you could be 147 or 160. Lonnie chose to be 160. He was pretty good. He was the world champion, WBO. He beat Simon Brown. Simon Brown was a bad dude from Washington, D.C. And Lonnie outboxed him. Yeah, that was a good fight. Yeah, Lonnie Bradley. Lonnie was a cool dude. Lonnie, I don't know, Lonnie was real quiet. Real quiet, real funny. He was always doing, playing practical jokes on people and shit. He do shit like, you, like we be sitting around talking in the corner park. And you're not paying attention. Lonnie will tie your shoelaces together. And then he'll come by, you know, pop you in the head or some shit to make you chase him. And you go to chase him before him bust your ass. <laughs> always do stupid shit like that. Always. Always doing stupid shit. He was a bad dude. He could fight him. Yeah, boxing's a tough sport. That's a tough sport. Lonnie James was on the polo grounds. James Butler. James Butler, Lonnie Bradley. It was like the known guy. James was the WBO champion too, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. There's a lot of gyms in Harlem. <laughs> yeah, Gladys Gym on Hump Point Night from 3rd Avenue. That gym on 125th Street. There was two gyms on 105th. It was one in the park and it was one in the basement. There was a gym in Washington Heights in the basement. You had a, uh, uh, um, let me go. You had another gym. Where's the other gyms at? You had a gym. You had a gym on 42nd Street. You had two gyms.